what this panel is about really is looking at perspectives around channel and platform. And we're privileged to have a pretty impressive group of people around the panel. We've got representation from Mohammed Harib, who everybody will know as one of the foremost animation creators in the region, uh, Frij Lamtara Pictures, and Mohammed Harib is going to be talking from a content perspective, Najib Jarrah to my immediate left. Um, who, everybody's going to introduce themselves, but Najib is uh, marketing manager for Google in the region. Google, we know, is a significant driving force in content and in um, various areas from idea generation to uh, various aspects of the, of, of the internet as we know it. So Najib is going to be talking from Google and YouTube's perspective because many of you will know Google, uh, YouTube is a, is a platform owned by Google. Um, Hussam al-Sakari is going to be talk is head of audience at Yahoo and Hussam will be talking from Yahoo's perspective again perhaps in a, in a similar vein to, to Najib's perspective but but obviously Yahoo is a direct, in many ways, a direct competitor to Google. Abid Agha is a founder of Vine Lab, and he's been involved also as a representative of a successful American business called Mobile Roadie. So uh, uh, Abid is going to be talking from a, from a mobile platform perspective. And finally, we've got uh, Badi Fatou, who is responsible head of acquisition and programming at Middle East Broadcasting Corporation, NBC. So, uh, Middle East Broadcasting Company, I should say. So, uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk, Buddy will talk from the perspective of being an actual commissioner uh, uh, of content as a programmer and as somebody responsible for acquiring content properties like the kind of properties that we saw um, uh, uh, sketch in motion talk about earlier in the session. So why don't, why don't we kick off, maybe we should kick off perhaps from that end of the panel. Abed, do you want to just pick up, um, get the mic pretty close and just tell us a little bit about what you do and your perspective of uh, mobile as a platform and generally platforms in the region. Okay. Um, so basically, um, I founded Vine Lab about a year ago and we, um, we basically started focusing on content distribution more specifically entertainment content over mobile. And for the past year, we've launched several apps, uh, mainly for NBC Group, so we've, uh, we've done several, which uh, we can showcase later. And um, um, we keep helping brands and artists launch apps in the region. We've done one for Miriam Faris, um, Lara Skandar from um, Star Academy, and several others. Um, so looking at mobile platforms in the region, um, it's, it's quite a challenge when somebody, when, when, a, when an animator or content owner thinks of mobile platforms, the obvious um, answer in his mind comes probably Nokia is my preferred platform, Blackberry, because I see them everywhere. But the real question is, what is their objective? What are they trying to achieve from, from distributing their content? They're trying to acquire users. There's several answers and factors that go along. One is, um, are users going to be able to discover my content? Uh, am I going to be able to monetize my content? And uh, how is the experience of the users on this platform? When we start answering these questions, uh, there are obviously more uh, obvious answers come up as Apple and Android being the most friendly ones. Uh, and these are the most successful platforms that, were, that content owners were able to monetize across the past couple of years. Um, in the region, we have a few successful stories. Um, I believe Masagil is launching with NBC an app very soon. Uh, we've launched several ones with NBC. Um, for example, um, there's a VOD app uh, where users can actually subscribe to tons of content over the app. That's launching in the next couple of weeks, which hopefully will have a lot of buzz. The radio app that they launched as well was massively successful with downloads over a million in, in across a few months. Um, so. There are various success stories in the region. Uh, a lot of monetization that can happen. Uh, we just really want the uh, actual animators and the content owners to believe more in the platform and really uh, test it, uh, especially at a cost-effective way, to be able to see how, how much monetization they can come out of it. Excellent. Mohammed. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm very happy to be here today. And I think uh, uh, as a content uh, creator, uh, you know, this is something, uh, especially in animation, it's a very, very new field uh, in the Middle East. It's a very fresh field in the uh, in the Middle East. When I started back then, uh, it was uh, very, the structure of the whole 
how can I sell my content, who can believe in funding it, and uh, what are the outlets for it, were very, very limited. But, uh, you know, six years or seven years down the road, uh, I can see a lot of uh, progress uh, when it comes to the structure of basically what is, you know, TV stations are being more realistic on what kind of quality content they are looking for. They are willing to spend a little bit more uh, than what they used to, uh, and they they are giving directors a little bit more creative leeway. Um, another thing is that uh, the internet is playing a huge role uh, in taking our content further because before, especially with animation, to be honest with you, because it's a format that can easily be adapted to several platforms, whether it's mobile or whether it's through the internet or the app store. or So it, it has a, a longer lease uh, to life, which I'll speak t about later in my uh, in my presentation. Uh, but in general, you know, I'm 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 having a very positive outlook. Uh, I always tend to do that; otherwise, I'll be depressed. But uh, it's uh, seriously. But uh, our role here is like, and I don't like to say we are pioneers, but at least in the in the area where we are in in the Middle East, we are trying to push the envelope further. We're trying to make people believe especially broadcasters uh, and, and media agencies uh, or media buying agencies that, you know, these shows can actually uh, harness a huge, uh, you know, audience base and you can actually communicate to the older generation and the younger generation in one package, which is something that is, I think, with Arabic content is very hard uh, to find, which is the target audience. Usually we create shows that is watched by the older generation, neglected by the younger generation, or something that only the younger generation would watch. So it is, I think, uh, the beauty of animation, or at least what I do, is, is it managed to capture a very big wide net. That comes with a set of problems, but uh, at least this is something I can work on. So good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Najib, and I look after Google Marketing from Middle East North Africa. And one of Google's most successful platforms in the region is YouTube. So in a good day, in con some countries in MENA, we have more YouTube playbacks than searches. So can you imagine? People actually watch more YouTube videos than go and like search for queries at Google. And that number is more than 100 million playbacks per day. Think about this number when you think the average one day active users in the region is something around 23, 24 million users per day. We're not talking about the total internet population, we're talking about people that are active each day. So that gives you an idea of how platform, especially video platform, is big. And one of the things that we're seeing here in, in the region is the rise of animation as a way of expression, as a way of delivery, delivery to message, and as a way of education. And content creator currently, or let's take it from the past, when you, when you were talking about animation in the past, you were talking about a studio that's producing an animation and then working really hard to go and pitch it for networks and DVs and, and content distribution to go along and, and, and convince them hard to go and invest in that showcase. And currently we can see a simple guy sitting in his, in his home with three hours on, on the computer and then he can, can, he can produce one episode that gets watched by two or three million users in MENA, which, is, which can be more than whatever an entire series of animation can be seen on a TV network or something like that. So the internet and video platforms online are giving content creators, small content creators, the, the, the ability to compete against big animation houses. It's all about the idea, it's all about the content that they're trying to, to message their animation uh, uh, about. Fantastic. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, in terms of animation, um, NBC has been working you know, toward um, acquiring and commissioning uh, animation content for the last few years, if I may say. And um, even we started with a dubbing in the beginning of, of into Arabic some uh, uh, Western animation, uh, not necessarily uh, targeting uh, um, children, but um, um, uh, adult animation. Um, in this respect, uh, the, uh, we witnessed the transformation which took place in the last few years in the region by having more and more uh, locally grown talents in the animation space and coming with ideas that are uh, um, a creative, original and more relevant to the region uh, than the traditionally uh, uh, top content. 
um, we've we've uh, uh, taken um, you know some kind of a commitment to to uh, to go into this path and commission more and more uh, uh, locally uh, uh, local animated uh, content, which um, was challenging at many times because of the equation of cost versus uh, uh, monetization uh, uh, opportunities, which proved to be not an easy equation uh, to, to crack at, at many times. Um, uh, recently, other players have been uh, coming into the mix uh, to make it more viable. Um, as Mohammed mentioned, um, uh, MBUs uh, coming and other um, uh, entities that can uh, uh, add value. And here I think it's, it's a very important um, uh, point because we need to make this happen in the right way. The right way is to, um, to have a win-win situation, is to maximize the benefits and uh, enlarge the benefits for all the players. The, animator, uh, the animation creators, the, the broadcaster, and whether be it um, you know, um, the, uh, the guardian of the branded content or the commercial entity that is behind must have certain benefits as well. Um, not at the expense of each other, but growing the business model and finding ways of to grow the business model so everybody can, can be um, a winner. I think the future um, looks bright, especially with um, the, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the evolving of more platforms like some of my colleagues have indicated, uh, be it mobile, be it um, uh, online and so forth. So we're not only talking television. However, television at the moment remains for the foreseen future the main driver for revenue at least, and the main driver that can monetize, uh, um, especially when we go into the longer form content than the three and five minutes when we go into the half hour and the longer form. Thank you.